Well, good morning and welcome back, everybody. It is morning of day 25 on the Appalachian Trail, and we're still pushing north. Uh, it's been an uphill climb this morning, about a mile and a half in. Had to take a break, catch my breath, get a drink. But the weather yesterday seems to be gone. We have clear blue skies, and the sun is shining right there on my face. Good night's sleep, all in all, no complaints. Had some rain, but we're dry. Train doesn't look too difficult today. We got two climbs, and I'm not sure how far we're gonna go. Um, if I get to my current destination, which is the second shelter, and it's early in the day, we'll push on. But if not, we may hold up there. I did a big mile, big mile day yesterday. And I know the book called it a 15 something, if you watch yesterday's video, but my watch said a 17.9. So right now, that's my personal best. So, I don't know if I want to try to push another 16 on top of that. But we'll see. So, let's push on and see what the day brings us. And I'll bring you all along. Stick around. See y'all shortly. And just another view, a different type of view of the trail and the train. They do this quite often where the trail just kind of hugs a mountain, goes all the way up to the top of a holler, as you can see here, all the way down, and just wraps around and keeps going. Just like that, here we are at our first stop of the day. Here we go. This is Little Laurel Shelter. And hopefully we'll be pushing on to Jerry Cabin Shelter. And we'll see where we're at. It's mile marker 294.5 right here. That's pretty cool they did that. All right, let's see what the shelter's all about. I don't think anybody's here. All right, got a picnic table. That's a pretty big platform, elevated. And that's a plywood shelter. Well, it's been a fairly quiet afternoon as far as views and terrain go. And then we come across this rock section here, reminding me of the Smokies. And we're doing a little bit of climbing up these boulders and popped up here to the top and we have reached white what is that white rock cliff so let's uh let's meander out here see what kind of view we got see if i can do it without whoa, falling or tripping as i say it i'll bring you back when i get to the edge All right, well, we came out for a view. There's a radar or cell tower over there. And wow, look at that view. Almost as good as the Smokies. It's close. White Cliff Rock. Well, we made it up here to Black Staff Cliffs, and it is one crazy view looking way out there to the flats. I'm still presuming that's Tennessee over there. Look at these trees. I'm not going to climb all the way down, just get all the way over to the edge because it's a, it's a drop. But it's definitely a view. Some neat stuff over there. But that's not part of the trail, and I'm not sure where that's even at, so... I'm not getting lost! So let me show you what I mean by climbing down. So that's the dirt trail that might lead 
to a point right out there on that rock that I'm not gonna go to. Look at that drop. And there's the medallion. And there's my feet, so. Yeah, no, I'm not climbing down that. Well, we reached the fork in the road for the big fire scald ridge. To the right is the white AT for the exposed ridgeline trail, about 1.4 miles. And if there's bad weather, there's the alternate, which is the left, the bad weather trail. Blue blaze going that way. This is actually gonna be our lunch spot. And then I'm gonna take the white blaze because we have clear skies and no wind. So the next time we see each other, we'll be out there on the big fire scald bald. And they say uh, it's pretty sketchy. Got to put your poles away and go hand over foot at some spots. So I'll bring you along for the views when I can and it's safe. See you shortly. All right, lunch is over. We're doing it. We're climbing the rocks. Don't know where they're going to take us. But they say there's spots where they're, they're exposed. So we got to switch back here so can't do this with you in hand but we'll bring you back when the views are there that's the trail we just came up climbing all them rocks right down the middle there and we are at the top Let's see if I can do about this wind That's looking west. It's a little breezy. It's not as bad as it probably sounds. Hopefully it's not that bad. And there we are looking east. You got more mountain ranges. Looking east and you do west. Absolutely gorgeous. And that is the trail continuing on. But we're doing good. Body's feeling good. A little sweaty, but we'll get there. No major injuries. No major injuries so far to report. So that's a that's a great positive right there. Man, it is beautiful. Just, I mean, look at that behind me. And if you don't like the flatlands, you just turn around. You got the mountains. And just in case you couldn't get a depth of view or feel for the trail in the photographs here it is in video and yes that is the white blaze painted on the rock where you got to cut through right there we're looking up 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 and i can't even zoom out back enough because it's so close here is looking flat and let me turn around and this is what i was climbed down and there's the other white blaze. That's why I'm not gonna film and hike it right now. All right, moving on. That way's north. And yet another beautiful view, looking east again. This is like the third lookout. You just can't get enough of it. And one last look.
from the last outcropping for the overlook before we finish this ridge line. We got some trees in our way right here. But out there is west and flat as you can see for as long as you can see. There might be a mountain range way out in the distance, but it's hard to tell from here. All right, let's get down. There we go. That's a wrap. That's all of it. And it took us exactly, actually exactly one hour. So we did the whole thing in one hour. This here's the trail we just came out of. There's the white blaze. And then that bad weather trail goes up this way. Dun, 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 dun. See, and there is a blue blaze on that tree right there. So that's it. We're done. Now we're heading to camp. There's the white blaze. Let's get to camp now for the evening showers decide they want to start on us for no reason. Well, I do believe we have made it to Little Johnny Shelter. And I don't think I see anybody here. Whoa, there we go. Big old picnic table, lots of logs, fireplace. Oh, sorry, not little Johnny. I stand corrected. Jerry's cabin. Jerry's cabin shelter. Little Laurel's where we had lunch. Or breakfast, rather. First breakfast. Little Laurel. We had lunch at the Fire Scald Open Ridge. So Jerry's cabin. Here's where we're at tonight. As of right now. Water's that way, and we are at 301.8. We have crossed the 300 mile mark and I didn't even see it on the trail. How about that? Well, alrighty. Welcome to end of the day wrap up. We're gonna go all the night here at the Jerry Cabin Shelter. Um, I know it was a shorter day, but I'm sore. That ridge walk kind of took it out of me and we got a decent day tomorrow, so we'll make up for it. I'm probably gonna stay here in the shelter right there behind me. Um, I haven't set anything up yet. Just gonna go out, go ahead and knock knock out end of the day wrap up. Show you guys the book and the mileage, and uh, then I'll rest up and get everything set up and decide whether I'm gonna go down the hill, down there. There we go. There's the trail, down the trail and set up uh, find a spot and set up tent. It's supposed to rain later tonight, so I may just uh, stay in the shelter, and that way everything's dry in the morning. But let's go ahead and show you the book and get wrapped up. So there you go. We started our morning at 290.3 from the stealth camp in the middle of nowhere, just just the north side of Allen Gap, which is North Carolina 208 or Tennessee 7D. So that was a climb out there. Um, climbed up pretty much most of the morning all the way till we got to Little Laurel Shelter where we had first breakfast. That was just a three, four, or four mile, four and change. Um, four point, what's it look like? 4.2, yeah. 4.2 up to Little Laurel. That's where we had our first breakfast. And used the privy and got plenty of water. And then we continued our climb. And we kept climbing up. Got up to 4,700 feet. And we had a little descent. And that's where we got into the, the fire scald. And uh, let's go ahead and turn the page. Oh. And then we are at the big, right there at the very top, big fire scald knob at 4566 with all the lookouts. And we did all of that. We skipped the bypass, so we didn't, because we actually went oh, through fire scald, so we didn't need to mess with that. And then as soon as out of there, it was kind of much of a downhill. Downhill right here to Jerry Cabin Shelter at 301.8 for an 11.5 mile day. We've got a six person shelter, we have water, we've got the privy and bear cables. So we're sitting at 4,100 feet, 4,146. So all in all, it was a good day, no complaints. I enjoyed myself and the views were decent. They were far and few between, but uh, the ones that did show themselves made it worth uh, worth their while of everything else. I guess they got summer on my nose and it keeps, scab keeps coming off, but uh, we'll heal up. We're not broke, we're just sore. So that's all I got. Hope everyone enjoyed themselves and uh, thanks for coming along. I appreciate everybody for being here. And if you enjoyed it, stick around. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.
Bye-bye.